Hi guys, I want to show you today something that we do, an old fashioned remedy, white lime as paint or whitewash, we've done it for many years, it's all my father have ever done, is paint the old farm with whitewash, well white lime, um, a lot of people don't like it because it flakes off, so every so often you might have to give it a scrape off like this, like with a scraper, Just any loose bits you scrape off. Because it doesn't really go like dry, see? It? Don't really go hard, but it gives you a nice economical uh, way of painting big areas with white lime. I gotta do this all year because that's gone a bit sad over the years. My father done it grey, but I wanna get it back white. Now, a quick walk around a minute and show what I mean. So, this I wanna do: freshen it all up. I've been cleaning up a bit today. All around you, look a bit sad. It was yellow years ago. Let's see how it flake off. So, if you really want to get into it, you should flake, scrape it all off. But unless it's really falling off, I just go over the top of it. But it was like a cream lime. This by you, I gotta sort them all out better, but I'm just gonna whitewash that there. Eh? Someone robbed out stones off the top of you. I've been doing the wall, so I'm nearly there with the wall. Someone said, why don't I edge that? Well, I have edged it. I was in one of the previous videos. I don't pressure wash the the path. That's just what it is. Anyway, it's not brilliant, the wall, I'll be honest. A bit bowy in the centre, but they, but I'm happy with it. It's coming back. I had to rip more off because it was all going here as well. I might even put a bit of lime on the bottom of that. You might think, well, why don't I wait until I finish? Just to see if it all blends in. So I'll put a little coat on here now. All the front of the farm is flaking off up there. So you can see we've got a lot of area to paint. And my father, like I said, I've always used it. It's an old fashioned um, remedy. Oh, this year, the cow shed. The old cow shed, the barn. That's the barn there. Inside the, the cow shed, we used to have this perfect, really immaculate. All the wall, all round, like I said, the cow's long gone. Cat up there. Hello. All through you. I got loads on the go. The wall is falling down by there. You can see all white lime on the floor here. Yeah? So what's that from? Well, there's movement. It's a big crack. These are not very really strong enough, so I put an aqua by here to hold it. If you can see in here, it's a bit dark. So I'll have to sort that out. Some sort of lintel or something across there. Or just better, better wood. This is all white lime. Everything is white limed. Over the years, my father used to do a lot of it. Like, but uh, so I got to carry on with it. This side of the cow shed. Let me show you how we mix it anyway. What we make it out of. It is just lime. Lime hydrated. So it is a bag of lime. Nothing fancy to do in a mix. Let me get a little shovel and I'll uh, do a mix with it now. Yeah, this wall was all white. Over the years we had this nice wall here that was white. Most of the walls on here have been done at some time. The front wall is always white. Simple to put on. Brush. Sweeping brush. A little brush like this. Just brushes. A lot of the time I use little small sweeping brushes. We used to have a pump. An hand pump, you'd put it over the side of the, the, the bucket. I forgot what it was called, now it's still here, but it's broke. It's still a pump, is it? Like a brass. And you'd go up and down like that in that motion, and we'd spray the walls. Obviously, watch, you don't go in your eyes and all that, wear glasses and all, gloves. Could wear a mask if you wanted to as well, to be safety for all the safeties, like. But um, put some gloves on a minute, we mix it. So, if someone's looking into big areas of walls, dry stone walls, or buildings, I really uh, recommend buying a bag of lime, just mix it up and get it on there. Like I said, it's cheap way of doing it and uh, it looks nice, really bright and just lightens everything up. If I'm doing big areas, like I'll do a bucket like this, like a plaster bucket or a tray or something, I can get a big sweeping brush into. I know it haven't got the, the lasting qualities of good paint like Sandex and all, all that stuff. 
hope you get some fresh fruit. Right? Yeah, I forget what the ratio is, be honest though. Lime to water, we pretty much just know what it is. What we get away with after doing it all my life. Um, and I haven't got much of it, so I don't want to do it too thin to start. Like I said, maybe you should put a mask on. Put big gloves on. So it's a straight mix of water. Some sort of stick. Mix it. Bit of like a reaction going on there. It will look very thin to start with. Just really put it on. I'll show you now. We'll do a bit of a, a, a demo now. We'll do a bit of a, um, a test area. And hopefully it'll dry by the time I go home so I can catch you on camera then. Thicker the better. Once it goes to a certain thickness it just works anyway. You just don't want it too thin. Because you're putting too many coats on them. So I'm happy with that. Just really give it a good mix up. Look at it on the stick, like I can still see still lots of bits in the bottom. You do get lots of bits still in your mind. Don't worry about that as you go in. The bits come onto the brush, they go on the wall. So don't worry about that. You can't get rid of all the bits. Happy enough with that. That's alright. When that goes white, when that dries, you'll be surprised how white that'll go. When you put it on, you can see through it. I'll show you now. A bit sad by you. So we'll do a bit of a test thing on you. Like I said, you could wash it off, you could scrape it off, you can do it like. But this is just the way I do it. When you've got big areas to do, you just want to get it on there fast. Like I said, we're not putting much money into this. It's just something we do, we just whitewash it. I say whitewash, white lime. That there used to be white as you can see coming through. My father done it grey and it's just looking very, very tired. So we'll try to get this back. I put a bit on here. I wouldn't do all of it today. Um I'm gonna buy more lime. To show you how it goes off. Yeah, so I just thought I'd show people what we use. Some people might find it interesting. I do. I find it mad that it just goes so bright. Because when you see it go on, it goes on like water. The transformation is unbelievable. You watch now. That's all it is. Get your brush. Just dab it on it. It makes a bit of mess on the floor, mind. I've got to be honest. It's a spray, yes. You imagine it go everywhere. I might go back to that route in the future. I've got to find out. Um, what spray I'll have you because it's so thick at the bottom, it used to keep blocking up the like, like it goes on the bottom of the sprayer. So dab it in, dunk it in. You think that's not going to do nothing at all? You think it's not even covered in there? Done a bit thicker. We'll do a, a change in colour. Maybe I'll do a two coats. That's where I do mine. I sprayed over the front already. So that's why we want to chuck it in Put a bit more where they thicken up a little bit. On it goes on very very thin. It's like magic stuff the way it goes when it dries. What it does when it dries. So do I go see into it? I think that's a bit better. I think that's not gonna work. Could it will, trust me. I've done it all my life. I'm doing the loads on me, you think I'm making a mess? That's the way to get it into all the all the cracks, otherwise you've got to spray it in there. Just gotta like chuck it in there. Get it on there. You can even throw it on there like this to get into the cracks. 
you want to get into all the things so if you've got nasty cracks chuck it in there spray it in there like that because you mad when you spray the wall it goes everywhere get on there Gaps, like you say, chuck it in there. Do what you want to do, brushes, mind. It don't last long. Like I said, I just thought I'd show it. It's an old thing that we've always done. Right, can you see that? That's literally a few minutes. Look at all that white and up already. I tell you what, it's very impressive stuff this. I could have done it actually a bit thinner. But um watch this now. Just an electric car come on then. First one ever. Oh yeah, I couldn't even hear it. That was impressive as well. Right. As I pretty much keep saying, the camera's coming off in there. Look at the difference already in our. So I gotta get more of it, give it a stir now and then. There's all the thicker stuff in the bottom. over anything like I said unless it's really really flaky you could give it a scrape off with like a scrape over there other than that just get it on there even those dirty walls you can cover it do the front edge Don't you agree? It's looking better straight away, instantly, compared to that. Look how dull that is. Like I said, over the years, you've had this looking really pretty round yeah. So, I'll give it two coats. Like I said, the bits I missed, and touch them back up down the bottom. But that's nowhere near as bright as it'll go. You wouldn't believe the different, that that'll go so bright. Hopefully, it'll go bright after. Well, I'll just do an next time over here then. Well, I'll leave it to later in the day for this camera to show you. We'll do an next bit up there now. Um, but I'll put a bit on by you. Just where I got thick in the bottom of the the bucket. These are fresh bricks by you now. we all lime have come off. So you see how it'll cover that. So even like that, you'll think that's not covering. I just want to show you why I keep saying this is magic stuff. Right, just get it on there. Transparent or not. I said we do everything. I play on the roof. Well, a bit of wall above the roof. What else? Oh, look at the difference in that, guys. That's just literally not even a half hour. The section here. But uh, I really like it. I said a lot of people don't like it because it flaked off um, over time. Don't go really hard. Um, how can I explain? Look, 
see it does give you that flaky effect look that's years and years worth of different coats so I'll have to scrape that bit first anything really loose just got to scrape off side toilet how many people got outside toilets now got to do an A as well look at that no electric it's outside toilet obviously we're inside toilet but that's what we had um, that's all they had years ago and we had one further down the yard where my spray booth is my mother and father came here like um, 60 years ago there was just a spray that was just a toilet down there nothing in the house that had come out whatever time of the night day go toilet down there and uh, this one come then later and then obviously went inside which is inside there now bit of history on it there yeah, you don't want to go in there if you're fighting the spiders we've got a few people run out over the years oh them bits look it's like this Just, yeah, look how easy it comes off the last years and years worth of not being scraped so anything it just comes off not too much effort, but just a quick scrape like that. All that way, obviously. Quick scrape off, not ready for the next coat then. As quick as that. As easy as that. Don't go too mad. Quick scrape off. There we are, see how that dries. There was a lot of dirt on it, so it's gone a lot greyer, so we need second coat respect. Just around this area by that. But uh, look at that. Let's see how bright did it go. That's the new first coat. To be honest, it only needs one coat. But anything it needs touching up then, when it really dries, you can see what you've got to do. Right, so I'm going to put a coat on here now, what I've done, just to see how I blend it in. See what I've done looks alright. We used to do all this, I gotta do that wall there, a lorry at there on the corner, and this just all gone bad since. We do up here, I gotta cut these telegraph poles up into strainer post. And I keep the one, so I gotta move these soon. Um well the whole wall is bloody bit falling look over time. Everything just seems to be falling over here. But I will whitewash the wall, white lime there, all round ya. Let's put a coat on you anyway. Yeah, the farm used to be yellow. Yeah, that was 50 years ago, back 40 years ago. I've never seen the yellow, but we have got photos of it, and you can see the yellow on it. Just paint it, really. Get a white lime on. Another brush. 
or spray it on. Yeah, so I don't know if a lot of people would have seen this white lime used before. The lime used, paint on walls and buildings. But in the agricultural world, it's a common use of the common site. I don't know if it still is so much now. I think it is still out there a lot. Here we are, I'm out. That's all I got till I buy another bag. There we are guys, that blending tidy now. Leave that go off now and go white. And I can have a better look at it then. Not been enough with that. So I was thinking some of the stones went up and down and all that. But they all like that anyway. They're all over the place. Cut that front grass, front lawn. Ready for his next cut. Which is my little fly mower and that little Alan on that. Just trim it. Yeah, someone pinched out top stones from there, across to there. And they disturbed the old wall then. All this corner. Amber there with them dragging them off. So, I didn't go down well. See it drying? As it dries, it just goes whiter. See it? When it's wet, it's like transparent. As soon as it dries, brilliant stuff. There we are, so you get a gist of what I'm showing you today. White lime, whether love it or hate it. But like my arm out. Right on guys. It's a few hours now. The difference in that. What bite that is. And that bit under there. That's one light coast show on the bricks that is. See ya? It's alright, isn't it? It says, marvellous stuff. One quick coat. Good coverage. So I'll do all that. Do all round you. Well, I'll do it all. Get there last then. Do all around the back. Down the front. On the side, yeah, it's looking a bit bad as well. That needs all scraping off, I guess. Look. So I'll take a bit of time, scrape it all off. I've done one on the front, yeah, on a bit of wall i done to see if it blends in. And uh, there we are, it's blending in. It's blended in. I'm happy enough for that when you look down there. Can't really tell what I've done. So when that's finished uh, and all white limed, I'd be happy with that. What do you think? I'm not far away. I'll put my string line under the top now, get under these top slabs, top stones, and get my straight line in. And I'm going to um, cement them back on then. So hopefully it'll stop people pinching them so much. They're on there tighter. Be alright. Well, there we are. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, just showing what we do. Alright. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.